All right. We're at the Green Dragon. Need something, darling? No. Good. Can I help you? You know you can. Pardon? Oh! I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought it was overreacting. It's not. No! Thank you. Thank you. Is there a chest? Is that my missing chest? The one because I found all of them except for one? Oh my god, it is. I was like, where is this chest? You mean I have two assassins who freaking live here and they couldn't, uh, they couldn't get Charles Lee for me? Realized. Stay away, man. There's no business here. Oh, my God, Connor. So now that I have my supplies replenished, let's -a go. Hmm. It's probably way over there. Be my guess. There he is. Stay within range, do not shove anyone. Oh my god. You can't do anything with this guy, holy crap. One eternity later.
Alright, let's go. That was surprisingly easy. Shoot him, Connor. Oh no, never mind. How dare I try to think logically? How dare I try to mess with the, the movie? Epic chase scene for no reason, just shoot him. Oh my god, did, did I do it? I think I did it. Why do you persist? You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. And he, he didn't even like try to stop me. It was the most obvious I'm going for my gun move ever. See, now Connor shoots him after he's been stabbed. Actually got the optional objectives and I can't run can't call my horse can't do anything gotta have our interactive movie we're not too interactive. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland. A ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Who is this guy? Attack the convoy. Whatever it is, it's right here. Oh, it's a side. Oh, that's I know what that is. Never mind. Sorry, can't attack the convoy. Too busy. Almost dying. Oh my god, just slowly walking up. Eh, 
and open the door normally. That bottle is clearly empty. This guy doesn't even care anymore, he's just like, uh, the pain is too much. Six months later. Why would they leave this behind? Yeah, luckily Connor was the first one here. No, I have failed. My people are gone. Chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade, a sacrifice, and not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it, where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time. What once was, shall be, again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then, you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose. And that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference. And you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. Oh, and the apple just disintegrates, okay. Like, how? Why? How did the apple disintegrate? Aren't these things, like, these amazing pieces of technology?
Finally! Some of these optional objectives, oh my god. Make me want to choke slam something. I know where the key is. Then let's go! This is it. We're right behind you. Oh, here we go. The AC3 ending. story now of how we tried of how we failed all our hopes extinguished save one your touch a spark a spark to save the world wait do not touch the pedestal Minerva you but how you left you destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. Exposition! While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. 
If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world, merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all return. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest on record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. Now, to my knowledge, she still has not done anything. And we are approaching Assassin's Creed Origins. 
So, we've had Black Flag, we've had uh, Rogue, we've had Unity, we've had Syndicate, we've had Origins. So, five games. Well, I won't count Origins. Four games. Four main games. And she has done nothing. That is why people don't like the modern day storyline. It goes nowhere. Like, the whole point of Assassin's Creed, like 1, 2, and 3, is building up to this, and then she gets released and does nothing for four games. That is why the modern day storyline, I think, needs to just quietly be put to sleep forever. You know, just... And the worst part is they have the key to do that. Because they've already, in the games, you know, said that they, they've unlocked ways for other people to view other people's memories. So that you can just have it just be, you know, and today we're investigating so-and-so from the so-and-so century. Boom. You can still have your old, your ancient Templar versus Assassin conflict because they've fought throughout history. But yeah, overall, Assassin's Creed 3, it's okay. It has some good parts. Um... Not a fan of the modern day story stuff. Never was. Never have been. Probably never will be. Um, I like Ezio more than Connor. I like Haytham more than Connor. Uh, let's see what else. I can't skip through these credits. Um, yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 is okay. I don't like the ending. Um, suddenly, you know, massive exposition at the... When you need exposition at the end to explain it, it shows that you haven't done enough, which everyone knew. I mean, the modern-day plot was so threadbare, and still so threadbare, that anything that anything major is going to be a big exposition dump. Um, because in AC1 it was just you know Altair found the thing he has a map of the world and suddenly oh no I may have a hidden ally in this Abstergo facility in Assassin's Creed 2 modern day oh we've escaped and Ezio had this random sci-fi ghost talk to him for a couple minutes and then uh, let's see Brotherhood I killed What's-Her-Face because I was possessed by some sci-fi ghosts after finding Ezio's apple and then Revelations modern day is oh no I'm in a coma gotta rebuild my my mind Assassin's Creed 3 we have this suddenly solar flare is going to destroy all of humanity on December 21st 2012 unless you know Desmond puts his hand on the thing which will kill him and then th this is. This will create a, a sci fi shield to protect the planet at the cost of his own life. And, uh, uh, and the worst part was. This, this would probably have been a bit more accepted if this game had come out before Mass Effect 3. But Mass Effect 3 had those stupid endings, which were a lot like this one. And, like, it kind of rubbed off. Well,. I don't. I know some people didn't even play Mass Effect Three before playing this, but I did. So I was immediately reminded of Mass Effect Three, and the, everything bad about that kind of like soured my perspective on this. Like playing Assassin's Creed Three now, uh, it's it, it comes off better, but it's still Ezio is still my favorite. Um, some of the optional objectives in this game are stupid. Like the the one video where it's like jump on him from above, and I do that, but it doesn't count because I didn't jump the way the developers intended or something. I don't know. I don't know, but whatever. Um. Yeah. That's all I got. I still can't skip through anything, so. I will see you guys next time. I do plan on doing more with Assassin's Creed 3 after this video. I just wanted to knock the main story out, really. Um, 
Probably wrap up the homestead missions, do a couple of Fight Club videos. I mean, it, it's a Fight Club. It's li literally what it is. Um, I think it's about all I have left to do, really. I might even publish those videos. And then, of course, um, I might just add them to the playlist. And, of course, we have the, the DLC, which I will be doing. Uh, the Tyranny of King Washington, I think it's called. That's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3. I did for the most part. Um, yeah, that's all I have. See you guys next time. As always, if you like what you see here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. More content is always on the way. Till then, my name is Axelon. Have a good one.